So these are basically what you're gonna need. You're gonna need an atomizer, some cotton. I've got two pieces of 26 gauge wire cut out, ready to go. I'm gonna be wrapping around this. I'm not really sure the width as of now, but I will put it on the screen. So there you go. Uh, tool to tighten down your posts, uh, clippers for your wire, and a device. Okay, to start wrapping this coil, we're basically gonna need to wrap a line of loops, kind of like what you saw in the picture before, except it's gonna be straight not really and not mounted in the coil yet obviously but so to start off just make one normal wrap make sure you get these tight because it will make a big difference if they're not so there's one and now there's also one more thing you really need to pay attention to while you wrap this coil is every wrap basically what I'm gonna do is turn this wire and face it the other way so that the next coil that I wrap won't be the same direction as the first coil. If you do them all in the same direction, it's gonna veer off in one direction on the coil, basically. It's not gonna be straight in a line when you're done wrapping your coil. So you need to make sure to alternate sides. This is basically what you wanna end up with for now. We're gonna have to do a little more work on it once we put it in actually, but go ahead and make another one because it's a dual coil, so, yep. All right, now one more thing we do, we have to do before we put this in the coil is kind of bend it into the right shape. So I'm just gonna use the edge of the screwdriver and kind of like fold it. Sort of like this, and then kind of work it a little. So, Basically, just kind of get that shape. And if it's not perfect, it doesn't matter really, because you can really clean it up once you start pulsing it and using your tweezers. So these are basically what you want these to look like before you put them in your RDA. All right, so let's put one of these coils in now. I like to pull my wire to the side so that way it stays on this side of the coil so when I put the other one through they don't overlap and cross just to keep it neat. Try to make sure that the leads heading into the posts are all the same length, that way they, everything goes evenly. And just trim these up. So basically what you have to do to get it glowing even is, you don't really pinch it. I honestly just use this screwdriver for the most part. You kind of just press around once it gets red and just make sure everything lines up evenly that it's all just one perfect shape, just like a clean coil, and that's what will cause it to glow perfectly. No hot spots inside to out like any other coil. You can see it's a little darker on the outsides and it gets brighter. Fluctuating between 0.33 and 0.35. I guess. As for the wicking, I'm going to take a fairly wide piece of cotton and then fold it in half like that and then sort of just stick that in, grab a screwdriver or something and start tucking it all in and underneath. Pretty simple wicking, to be honest. There you go. All right, guys. So we've got a 0.35 ohm 
dual crown coil on a pull jack on the Tobe Addy, and it's honestly a great Addy for this because these three air holes line up perfectly. So I'm gonna show you how to vapes. All right, guys, thank you very much for watching. Feel free to subscribe. I have a bunch of other coils that I've already come up with, like originals, so I'm going to make guides on those also. Um, I have an Instagram also if you want to check that out. Feel free to leave some comments. I'll try to answer all of your questions. Thank you very much, guys. Bye.